How's it going, Mike? Eat your vegetables. What's up? What's up? Not much. What's up with you? Not much. Hold on, give me a second. Hold on, let me. Hold on, I got a text. Let's make it quick. Let's make it quick. You want to make? We'll make it quick. So, what's your first thing? You want me to pre- the existence of God, right? Yeah, give me the evidence, boy. Give me the evidence. Okay. Now, I know your argument comes from the fact that we don't know whether the universe had a beginning or not, correct? Yeah. Okay, I'm not going to debate from the basis that the universe had a beginning. But can we agree that the universe is a possible existence, not a necessary one? Uh, no, the, nece- the universe isn't necessary. It could be necessary. If it could be necessary, then it's not necessary. No, what do you mean? <laughs> because the, it is the- the- Hold on, because because the word a necessary existence could not be any other way versus a possible existence no. could otherwise no, be different. No. Yes, it is. No. Well, I can say the same for God. Maybe God could could be contingent to something, right? So no, but if God is contingent can, to something, the same then it's not God. To God. No, I can, same thing to your God. No, no, no. If God is contingent, if you say God is contingent, you're no longer talking about God. Yeah. Okay. No, but that you're, you're, I'm coming at it from the argument that whether the universe is eternal or not is irrelevant to the conversation of does God exist. Okay, fine. Then what's your argument for God? What's okay, the evidence? The, for, what's the evidence? First, I'm going to show you that the universe is not a necessary existence. Would you say the based universe, on what? De- based on your own definition, right? No, no. Do you know what? Okay. Do you know where the terms necessary and possible existences come from? Yes. What, where did they come again, from? Again. Where did they come from? This universe, but again, this universe might be the only universe we that could have have been. Hold on, this might where, you, this universe might be necessary. Hold on, where do the words "necessary" and "possible existences" come from? From their ph- philosophical terms. No, no, it doesn't what, matter. Yeah, it does just, matter. Just get the if evidence. You if you if you don't know if you don't know what necessary and possible existences are, tell me, and I and I could talk to you about it. But if you don't, if you do know what they are, you're using the universe correctly. could. The universe could be necessary. Period. If you say it could be, it could be, that means it, that it could not be. If you believe that it could be, not that it has to be. No. No. Based on your definition, yes, the universe could be necessary. Okay. Period. I'm, hold on. I'm going to, I'm going to talk, I'm going to tell you where the, the, there's two types of truths, right? When you take an intro to philosophy class, you learn that there's two types of truth, a possible truth and a necessary truth. A possible truth isn't true in all worlds. And it could be any other way versus a necessary truth where it's true. Yeah, and, and this way. universe might have been the only universe it could have been. No, I'm talking about an, even in, non, in, an alter, in an alternate universe, in a non-existent universe, in a total different scenario. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. I can conceive of the universe where God doesn't exist, right? Could you, God not exist? On. Okay, if you can do could that, God do you come, hold on. Do you come with the pre-assumption that God could exists? Could God not exist? That, no, because then you can't. Because is if it you come, possible hold on, that God is, hold on. If you if you use that argument, possible. Hold on. What? Is it possible that God doesn't exist? No. How do you know that? <laughs> I'm how do you say no? You what, I'm going to explain to you how. Because if we're going to talk about God, we have, I'm going to refer to God okay, as a necessary the existence. Hold give on. the evidence. Hold on. Wait. Let me finish. A necessary existence. A necessary existence is true in all worlds, and it could not be any other way. And I'll show you how the universe could be in a different way and it was in a different way when you believe it was a singularity do you believe it was a singularity do you believe in the big bang i think the big bang has nothing to do with the big bang is simply expansion of space time that's nothing to do with the singularity that that idea is old okay but do you believe in the big bang the big bang is a fact okay i agree with you i agree with you i agree with you on that did the big bang change the universe Um, yeah, it changed the universe. Okay, sure. thank you, thank you. So the universe, the universe was a different way. Therefore, it cannot it changed, be in a certain no, no, distance. No, no, the, the known universe, the known universe changed, but we don't know all of existence. There could be part of the universe that is the necessary foundation that, that does not change. I know you're trying to get to that. You're no, trying to say, oh, God doesn't change. Hold on. No, 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 but no, no, no. There's part. There might be a property of the universe that does not change. You thought if if the Which properties hold on. Hold on, if, the, if the universe is the is the universe dependent on its own properties, just like God is dependent on his own properties. No, no, God is not. God is independent. Is the universe dependent on its own it, properties? I can say the same for the universe. I can say the same thing you're for saying the universe. You could say, but then you're not defining the universe as it exists today. 
I'm saying the universe could be the necessary existence, period. Existence could be necessary. This could be the only existence there is. Could the universe otherwise not exist? I don't know. We don't know that. It could. This might be necessary. Could, could the universe exist in a different way? We don't know that. Do we you? do know that because it did exist in a different no, way. No, we don't. We don't have other universes to You just said the Big have... Bang is a fact. Did you say the Big Bang is a fact? The big, do you know what the Big Bang is? Do you know what that even is? Yeah, it's an it's what explosion. Is the, when it, what is the Big Bang? Explain to me the Big Bang. Okay, when the singularity of the universe built pressure, explosion, boom, from here, whatever, the particles. No, that's not the Big Bang. That's not, okay, explain to me what the Big Bang is. I don't know. The Big Bang is not when the universe was created. I'm not it's saying just it was when, when it was created. I'm not, hold on, hold on. It. Don't straw man. Don't straw man. I'm not saying when, when the Big Bang is the cause of the universe. I never said that. Okay, good. Okay, great. It's just expansion of space time. That's all it is. Okay, so it's the expansion of the universe. It led to the universe to begin expanding. Is the universe expanding dependent dependent on the Big Bang? Um. Well, yes, it's dependent on Thank the you. energy within. Thank you. Yeah. If the universe is dependent on the Big Bang, if the universe is the way it exists today is dependent on the Big Bang, then it cannot be a necessary existence. Yes, it can because no, it can't because there it can't. Is a property. The no, we're talking about the known universe, right? So the known universe, there might be a property of the universe itself that we don't we don't know about yet. That is a natural process. That is the necessary foundation of reality. But itself. now, now you're talking about two different things. No, I'm not. I'm talking about the same thing you are. You're saying God is necessary. I'm saying, well, I can say there's a property of the universe that's necessary too. Okay, if you want, if you want, if you want to talk about the necessary existence, we have to talk about its attributes. Does hold on? Does time depend on the universe? No, the time. So outside of the universe, time exists. If the universe ceases uh, to exist, we don't know that. We, we don't the, know. If the universe ceases to exist, would time exist? Um, we don't know that. The, there might be time with outside this universe. There might be a, a space and no, time outside this universe. Time, okay, time within this universe. If the universe ceases to exist. Well, sure. I guess same thing about same thing about God. If God, part of God, that exists, would He exist too? No, right? It's like I can say the same thing for your God. No, because then we're not talking about God, but we can still be talking. I'm talking about time. All you're all you're doing right now is jumping to two cocaine fallacies. We're not. We're no, discussing no, no. the. All universe. you're doing, all you're doing is defining God into existence right now. That's all you're doing. You're saying God is I necessary. Did, I'm, like, I'm talking about the universe, but you haven't even shown that. My, what's funny, Mike? From what's funny, and is, everything you're saying, I can say the same thing for the universe. On, everything you're saying about God, I can say the same for the universe, hold which on, is natural, and just without the natural, without these the supernatural properties, without the consciousness, without the the all goodness. I can just do the same thing for the universe and take away all the properties of your God. No, no, I'm talking. I'm talking about. If the universe, if time depends on the universe, God's attributes don't depend on God and God doesn't depend on his attributes. Okay. So does but, the universe. Hold on. The yes, universe but, doesn't depend on its attributes either. That's the time, point. There's a property on the universe. universe. Not depend on its attributes. The, That's the what time, I'm saying. Time does depend on its universe. No, 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 no. Yes. No, yes. it doesn't. There's a, no. So hold on. Hold, You're on. Gonna say, hold on. Hold on. So are you saying time, time is an emergent hold, property? Hold on, hold of on. the universe. Hold on. So are you saying time is universe. independent? Time is an emergent property of our universe. A what? Time A what? does not depend on the universe. A time might not depend on the universe. Listen. Define time emergent property. Is a property of an entity that emerges from something else, right? It stems so off it came of something from the else. Universe? The, yes, there might be okay. a necessary property. So it's dependent on the universe. No, 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 no. You no. just That's said it emerged said. from the universe. No. D like I believe the universe. Yes, it emerges from the known universe, right? When you say the known universe, that only talks about this, all we can observe. There might be a property that we can't observe yet that is necessary. Yeah, but that you're talking about something change. we don't know about. Hold on, I'm talking about what we know of the universe. It, it cannot be necessary. But you're saying, oh, well, we don't know. But that's 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 illogical. That's an argument from ignorance. We don't know, therefore, that. it is or not. Simply saying there is a literal property of the universe that we may not know of that is that shares the same properties of a necessary foundation. You right. can't withdraw. You cannot Again, escape that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to reiterate this. You don't know. I'm going to reiterate this. That's an argument from ignorance fallacy. 
God is an argument from ignorance. You're no, saying, because if oh, I tell well, you from based off what we know, if we can induce and deduce, just give the evidence of a God, right? Hold on. By we the way, does induce? God change? By from, the way, didn't God doesn't God change when He judges us? No. He doesn't change when he judges us when we die and you go to heaven, right? He doesn't change when we when he talks to us and says, "Okay, you did this, you did this." He doesn't change at all. How does he change? He get, he doesn't he gain new knowledge about what we did in, in our lives. Us changing means God changed. Well, yes. What, bro? That, if I if that's a if false I judge you, Mike, it's new knowledge. This is why. This is why I have somewhat of a issue with you is because a lot of times you you use fallacious arguments okay just get to the evidence of god all right i'm gonna get to it. the universe the universe changes so it cannot be a necessary existence because it could otherwise be different. No. the known universe the known yeah, universe, the known universe, the known universe, yeah, the, known the, universe. universe the known universe changes the known universe changes meaning it could not be a necessary existent agree or disagree Sure, but there might be another universe or another property. Distance. Listen, just listen to me. There might be a property of the existence that is foundational to it, that is natural, that doesn't have consciousness, that isn't a god, that is just a natural thing. And That's we don't know. We, and I, we don't I, know whether this this property exists or not. It could exist, right? I disagree. No, it couldn't. How, how, show me how it can't, it, there's no way it could exist. Show because me. you're saying the universe as a whole is a necessary existence, but the known universe is a possible existence. Yes, just like God creates the, the universe. It's the same thing. There's a foundational property to the existence, and that is something we haven't discovered yet. And our universe has emerged from, there might be other big bangs out there. There might be other universes that are stemming from this necessary foundation that is a natural thing, that isn't a God. It's that simple. Hold on. You're saying, wait, say that again. Our universe might not be the only universe. We might be in a, in a sea of different universes, all stemming from a necessary foundation that is natural, that doesn't inquire consciousness, that is completely natural thing, that is not a God. No, Mike, so not part of the universe. Yes, it's not part of the universe. Something Why outside of so the universe. Hold on. Something outside this. of the universe. Something Why is it so hard for you? I agree with you. We're, we're, it we're doesn't getting somewhere. Depend. We're getting somewhere. The necessary foundation, the necessary existence has to be outside of the universe, correct? No, it doesn't have to be you outside of the universe. Outside of the universe. It could. It could be outside of the universe. This is all hypothetical. It could be. Just like your God. It's completely no, I hypothetical. Asked, I asked you. I asked we're, you. we're just putting out stuff out. I asked you. I asked you. If it is outside of the universe and you said yes, then you retract it. So is it outside of the universe? Yes or no? Yes. This entity is outside of the universe. Okay. Thank yes. you. Well, we it's a natural thing. Let, let us agree on it's that. Let us agree. let us agree on that. Let us agree on that. Time as we know it, matter as we know it, and space as we know it are all confines of the universe. So this necessary existence that is outside of the universe has to also be outside of time, space, and matter. Correct? No. Why not? Just no. Those are confines because of the universe. Time, How can it be just bound? Just because time... Confines? Hold on, wait, wait. Time, space, and matter are all going to be dependent on this necessary existence because they are possible. If, if the, There can only be one necessary existence because there has to be at least one. Yes. Okay, so because we can agree there can only be one, time, space, and matter cannot be a part of it. It cannot be oh bound. Oh my gosh. Like but, so hold on, hold on, wait. Yes, wait, there, me, but, but guess what? There, there could be parts that, that this entity that's on the side of the universe doesn't have to doesn't need time right time's just an emergent property of of universes that's the, irrelevant. the part of, right that's what we're saying but that, that's so not, this that natural does going, not depend on you're time you're going you're going thing. you're going off a, you're going off a red herring at this moment no 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 the entity is a natural thing it doesn't require time it doesn't uh experience time right only universes experience time that's the point that's what i'm simply saying so it is beyond it could be a natural time. thing Static and the and, and scientists agree with this. There are pockets outside, perhaps, of the multiverse where there are pockets of places where time is static and there's no time in it. Hold on, all, so, well, are you talking about an uh, infinite universe? No, well, I'm talking about pockets of the multiverse no. where there is no time. I'm you, you mentioned you mentioned multiverse. 
Yes. There are places outside the universe that where time may be static no, and does define, not exist. Define there are pockets in this universe. Did you know that there are pockets of this universe where time is static too? So time your entire what? art is Hold based on. on a poor philosophy of time. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about just time. I'm talking about time. We don't even matter. Time is a four-dimensional attribute of the universe. That is, uh, time is seems to be an emergent property of the universe. Yes. Yeah. and it's a four. It's four-dimensional. You agree that it's not. Just, you get, can you just get? Well, we don't know that. Can you just get to the the evidence of God, please? Well, how do you know it's God, right? Hold on, I'm I'm gonna explain to you because I'm not. I, I haven't called it God yet. I haven't said God yet. I said I, you've been talking more about God than I have. Okay, great. Then just give us the evidence for God. Okay. So this necessary existence that we both agreed is not bound by time, nor space, nor matter, because it is not of those things, not of the universe. It has to be beyond those things. So something. And it also, has, that means if it's beyond time, it also exists eternally, beyond time, space, and matter, and outside of the universe, and is independent, meaning everything else depends on it, and it could be no other way, and there's only one, whether you like it or not, you can call it pocket, you can call it hat, shirt, you can call it whatever you want. That's the exact definition given to us from the Quran about God in Surah Al-Ikhlas, Surah al -Tawfi. Whether you Whether you want to agree with it or not, you agree with me on all these attributes, okay, and that's so exactly what we agree on. I don't know. I don't agree with all those attributes. Exactly what we agree on. I don't know. I don't agree with all those attributes. The definition, you're just defining God into existence. That's all you're doing. You're saying God must be these things, and you're just going, oh, yeah, see, the Quran says that. All you're doing is defining things into existence. No, because it makes we agree. None of what you're saying Mike, based on any Mike, evidence. Mike, I you have no evidence for anything you're saying. Mike, I went with you step by step and said, do you agree? You said yes. Then I went, do you agree? You said yes. Do you agree? No, you I did not yes. agree with anything you said. I never agreed with anything you said. So hold on. You never agreed to the necessary existence being outside of the universe? I don't even think there's a necessary existence. You never. I, this is all hypocritical. Hold on. You think, hold on. Whoa, whoa. You think that the universe exists all of possible uh, existences? I'm simply going with what you're saying, right? I'm just simply going with what your your argument is, and no, I'm trying well, to just poke holes Mike, into your argument. Mike, I ask. The you, point is that I asked you. Do you agree the point with is that, this? Listen, 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 listen. The point is that the necess this necessary existence might just be foundational to the universe itself or existence itself, right? That's all, and it could be a natural thing. There's no need for it to be a god. That's what I'm simply saying. I'm telling you. Okay, if you agree, do you agree that there's a necessary existence? No, I don't, but let's go okay, with it for then, now. Okay, okay, we'll go from there. Because I'm not going to discuss with you on a hypo... Okay, let's say, for sake of argument, let's talk about what could be the necessary existence. Let's talk about your belief that the universe exists of all possible dependent existences. We don't know how many possible existences. Okay, but yes, let's continue. Okay, you just fell into infinite regression fallacy. Because if you're saying there's infinite amount of dependencies... What? No, just continue your argument. Just get to the evidence, Hold on, dude. No. Come on. You're telling me get to the argument, but then you're telling me when I get to what you tell me, well, you know, I don't believe in the necessary existence. Then I tell you, then I just question go, you. Just go, just go, just go. Just no, no. please. Then, then I question continue. you. Then I question you on that. Then I question you on that. And then you tell me, no, 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 no. Get back to the other stuff. I can't get back to the other stuff because it's pointless if I do. Okay. Go on. Go ahead. Just continue. Okay. Please. Please. Okay. Do you believe that a world exists with only possible existences, both the physical and the metaphysical world? What do you mean metaphysical world? What does that even mean? Meta not physical. There's, hold on. Do you, do you know? What is a, what, what, what is a non-physical non thing? What is that? Okay. Is mathematics physical? Mathematics is a concept that we've invented in our brains. It's so mathematics physical doesn't exist? Concepts are purely physical things. Thoughts are physical things. Hold yes. on. Mathematics doesn't exist? What is of mathematics? Does math does math exist? Math is a thought pattern. Thought patterns exist in the brains as physical electrochemical signals. They are purely physical. Everything in the universe is physical. No, no, as no, far no, as we no, can no. see. No, no, math. Yeah, 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 yeah. Math yeah, 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 yeah. Mathematics is not physical. You think mathematics is a physical math, entity? When you when you refer to math, what you're talking about is a concept, right? No, in, in general. On a piece of paper, one plus. You're one talking plus about a hold thought. On, hold on. You're talking about write... thoughts. Hold on, hold on. If I write one plus, bro, Mike, I'm sorry, but this is crazy because even You're talking about thoughts. Hold on, even 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 atheists, renowned thoughts atheists, are physical on, things. renowned atheists, that philosophers simple? disagree with you. Renowned atheists, I don't care. Thoughts are physical. That is a scientific fact. 
Thoughts are physical things. I'm math is a thought, and I'm thoughts not, are physical. If you, I, I don't know about whether thoughts are physical or not, but I'm talking about mathematics in general. Even if someone doesn't think about it, does it still exist? Math is an invention of the human mind. Yes. If people didn't think about it, there would be no thing as math, just like English or physics. No, no, no. If people didn't think of Hold on, English, wait. there would be no English. If, if you don't think of English, English is a language. It's not the same as math. Math produces truths. Eng math is a language. Ma hold on. Is one plus one Five equaling? Meters. Hold on. Is one plus one equaling two? True. It is true because we define it as true. It's hold an on, analytic on, truth that on, we invented in our brain. If, if if math didn't, if me and you didn't think of math was never thought of, would one plus one still equal two? No. What? One plus one is two because we define it as two. I can I can call six plus eighteen three. It doesn't matter. It, the language is it doesn't matter what the language. We invented the language of mathematics. I'm not talking about the language. I'm talking about math in general. The concept of one plus the concept of math, and math is a concept, right? Hold on. The concept of one plus the concept of we one. invented. Yes, we invented one. We humans invented one. So hold on. Before, if I have this water bottle, right? If math, what if we never thought of math, I couldn't determine how much water bottles are in my hand. Uh, you could, but you'd just be describing something different than math, right? You'd be describing something different. But explain Humans to me how I would math. explain to Humans me. Humans how... to physics. Hold on, is math a priori? A priori is math a priori? Yeah, yeah. Math, yes, math does not exist without thinking minds. Yep, yeah. okay. A priori is guess where it's taught, it's not taught in the realm of, of the physical world. If you take a class on metaphysics, a philosophical class, you are taught what a priori is. There is do you have a better example of something non-physical? Because math is a physical thing. No, math Just is like not. thoughts. So you can think, hold on, hold on. What's the opposite of a priori? It is a scientific fact what, that hold on, thoughts what, are what, physical. What's the opposite of a priori? A posteriori. Okay, and define that for me, please. Okay, the point is that no, 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 define, philosopher, define, thinks that, define, no philosopher thinks that a priori uh, does not require any evidence behind it, right? That's No philosopher thinks that. You I'll, can make a priori I'll, I'll assessments. Give you, I'll give you one. Oh, I'll, my God. It's that guy. So let me talk. Okay, talk, talk. Let me freaking talk. Speak, speak, speak. We can make a priori assessments um, based on, but no philosopher thinks that we can't make them, we can make them without evidence. We, you do need the empirical data in order to back up any a priori assessment. I don't disagree with you. You can make assessments, right, that, that make us, uh, that, that inclined to be true, but it doesn't make it true. That, hold on, that doesn't answer my question. What's your question? I'm going to do it again. It does answer your question. What's the opposite of a priori? A priori? A posterior. Okay, define that for me. Knowledge that comes from empirical truth, empirical data. No, no, that's not the right definition. Okay, well, what's your point? It comes from sensory factors, right? Yeah, that's empirical data, yes. Okay, more importantly, how people define it, it comes from what we can feel, touch, what is physical in the physical yes, world. That's empirical, yes, that is empirical data, yes. Okay, and what's the opposite of that? A priori, which doesn't come from empirical data, but no philosopher thinks that it doesn't, and a hundred percent. The opposite. The opposite. Agree that you on. do need empirical data, the, and all knowledge does come from empirical data. You, you thank you. You debunked yourself because you said a priori is physical, and I asked you, is a priori whatever it is, is it physical? You oh said yes, God. and I said, what's oh the opposite God. of that? You said priori, a priori. What? You. What's What's the non-physical thing in that? What, what do you? What's the non-physical thing? Should, tell me. Okay, hold on, hold on. Is it, we're going to give you a statement. Tell me, tell me if this is physical, right? Even if you say it's about thought and stuff, but it doesn't change the fact, right? Yes, it does. No, it what doesn't. Are you talking about? Yes. No, it doesn't. Oh my God, brother. Go ahead. Keep going. Hold on. We mentioned math, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. We mentioned math. You, you reject that. You think math is physical. Math is part of the physical world. Yes, just like English, just like all other languages that we invented, yes. What about what about color? Is color part of the physical world? Yeah, because I can what? see color. Why? We can see it's light. We can see it. Okay. Is smell a scent? Is it part of the physical world? Yes. Why? Electrochemical yes, electrochemical signals. Those are what smells are. 
okay. stemming off of cells and neurons and, and other things. Yes. Okay. Everything is physical. Now, water. If I touch water, what the concept of what is it part of the physical world? Yes, water's physical. Okay, you see a pattern here. Does math fit in those? Yes, math, math is, not, is math a is not part thought. of the sensory factors. Do, did you all right? Do you accept the fact that thoughts are physical? No. Yes or no? No. So you're going to go against science now. You're going against this science. Doesn't say scientific thoughts are physical. My, 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 science is yes, it does. Look if it up, people. Look, everybody watching this, go on Google and look it up. If you're talking, about, if you're talking about chemical things, reactions, in that the is brain, a fact. Hold on, you're talking about chemical reactions. There's no in the brain? argument here. Hold, are you There's talking no about argument? Hold on, you're talking about chemical reactions in the brain. Yes. Okay, chemical reactions are the reactions of thoughts. It has nothing to do with math. I'm talking to you. Thoughts is math, themselves. Is math abstract? Thoughts themselves. Is, is math abstract? Are electric signals is, in the brain? Is math they are abstract? Physical th is math abstract? What? Math is a thought. Is hold on. If you hold, want to call, are you saying, hold on, hold on. Are you saying? Are you saying there's no math, abstract? This world exists with no abstract. Relevant. It's you, irrelevant. It, whatever you call it, thoughts are physical things. Hold on, hold on. There's no non-physical thing. The concept, the concept of one plus the concept of one equals two, right? That is a thought. No, I'm talking about that the concept. The con without anybody thinking it, is it true? That is a thought. Without anybody thinking what? it, is it true? I don't know what you mean by that, without anybody thinking it. If we didn't think about it, it wouldn't be there. It, that's what I'm saying. Even even, <laughs> even if we never thought about it, would it be true? Are you talking about the universe itself? No, I'm talking is about math. Is that what you're trying to tell me? I'm talking about math. Math is an invention of the human brain. Hold on. You said thoughts. Thoughts are physical. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. But somebody commented this. I'm not going to take credit for it. He said, oh, now I'm right. Hold on. Okay, wait, wait. Great. No, I said, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. But somebody commented no, this. I, Hold on. Wait, let me finish. It. Let me finish. Don't cut me off. Don't Do you believe off. in evolution? Hold on. Do you think evolution? I'm sorry? Do you believe in evolution? Evolution? To some degree, yes. What, what don't you agree with evolution about? I don't believe that it came. We came from a single cell organism. Oh my God, that's not what evolution even says. But okay, continue. Whatever. I'm on. sorry. You, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. That's not what I we, don't. What does evolution say? It doesn't say we came from a single cell organism. Evolution is just changes in allele frequencies over time. It's not. Doesn't mean it's not. It has nothing to do with abiogenesis. So you disagree with that? What? So you don't, you don't think fact. it came from a single cell organism? <laughs> Evolution is a fact. Abiogenesis, we don't know exactly how life originated, but we have a good idea of how it did. It, it's a chemical process. That's what life is. Okay. That, that I don't disagree. I don't disagree with you on that. That life did change. Okay. Continue. I'm sorry. I'm, I, I threw you off. Continue going. Continue. Hold on. Are you conscious of your existence? Yeah. You're, what, is consciousness physical? Consciousness. What do you mean by consciousness? It could be just thoughts, right? Thoughts are physical things, yes. No, no, not thoughts. Consciousness. Yes, consciousness might be thoughts. Might, That's what consciousness might, might just be. Thoughts and emotions in our brain. It's that no, simple. Consciousness as a whole. You're saying it might be this, it might be that. No, I'm talking about what it is. Consciousness. We can affect consciousness by affecting the brain, right? If you get knocked in the head, you can lose consciousness. We can actually – a lot of science studies are coming out where they, they they can show you exactly where it might come from, the, the brain stem so, or the on. reticular so you, formation. So you don't believe the, the subconscious brain. exists? The subconscious is part of the physical brain. <laughs> where? Show me where. Where in the physical brain? The brain stem, the reticular formation. Part, there's many different parts of the brain. There, you know, there's – Several this, different parts of your brain. Emotions, exist? the limbic system, the frontal lobe. What? This this shows that consciousness consciousness is uh, exists in the brain. Uh, we have no, we don't know exactly where consciousness comes from. But the point is that we have a good understanding of that. Uh, the consciousness it might be it likely is a physical thing. If you die, you don't have consciousness anymore, right? So obviously, you're when it, it has to do with your physical body. Hold on, hold on. When you die, you no longer have consciousness. Yeah, when you die, you okay. don't talk anymore. I, I agree, you don't think agree, anymore. You have no brain that. activity. I agree. <laughs> I agree with you on that. But brain activity stays active for a few days after you die. Okay. How about after that? There's no more, right? Yeah, but hold on, hold on. So you retract the first statement. What? You retract the like not right after death, a little bit after that. 
Well, I don't know if what you're saying is true, but even if it was true, what does it matter? Sure. There's, there's neuro, there's cellular activity when you die too, <laughs> right after you die too. It doesn't, your cells can still live without part some of your cells can still live right after you die it's that simple no, no i don't disagree with you on that from it takes time for cells to die yeah, you don't I just agree, die immediately I when, I, when I don't die. so obviously there's an explanation for this no but i was just talking it's about not god right? you're gonna say oh where, where does consciousness come from it must be god like no, that's, that's not what like said. nobody that's would not what say that that's not what i said I'm okay going, great great I'm, I'm, I'm just showing you that there are things that you're you're copying out saying that we don't know where it comes from but they're abstract Okay, just get on with the point. Like, what's your point? And I don't even know how we got in this topic because you got mad that I mentioned the metaphysical world. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, that was my fault. No, you're good. You're good. Anyways, go back to the necessary and possible existences. Do you believe a world can exist only of possible existences? Yes, that might be this universe, this existence. Yes. Explain. This universe might be the only possible existence. No, explain how it can be only possible existences. Why that's logically Why coherent. couldn't it be? Why couldn't it be? It, this might be the only existence. Because it means they're all dependent. No, we don't have evidence of another existence or no, another no, universe. No, that means we they're all dependent. This might be the only... That means they're all dependent. What, what do you mean? They're this might be the only necessary else. existence. This is the necessary existence. This universe right here might be the necessary existence. So so you don't believe that a world... That, the, uh, world exists with only uh, possible existences. There could be other existences, but uh, but this might be the only one. It's that simple. No, no. Is, it, is the world as we know it, as we know it, I'm going to say this, as we know, is the only possible existences that can exist? Yes, in that, yes, this okay. universe as we know it. But that's logically possible... incoherent because you're saying they're all dependent. What do you mean they're all dependent? What do you mean? What do you, why do you keep saying all? Because you're saying, from your point of view, you're saying the, all these possible existences, and that's it. Meaning they're all dependent. What are they when, dependent on? When you say all possible existences, what are you talking about? All possible existences. Existences that can be any other way. Yes, which might be only this one. <laughs> it, that, that, which that, might that's be the irrelevant. Only... Yes. That's irrelevant. It is relevant. No, it's not. You can... saying it, it could be only this one. Right, but I'm yes. telling you. But I'm telling you. I'm telling you. For okay, see this cup. You see this yeah. cup. This cup. The guy that made it at the factory could he have painted it blue? No, maybe he didn't. Maybe everything is determined in this universe to happen in the specific way it does. You're, you're a determinist. Yes. So you don't believe in free will? No, we don't have free. You think we have free will? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Nothing we do is our choice. Everything we do is based on physical processes that we have no control over. So why do we have jails? Because, oh my God, really? So if I invented, let's say I, I invented a robot that was determined to kill people and, and I let it out in the streets. Would we, would people like that are getting, would the cops just go, oh, it's just a robot. Hold on, he, wait, wait. He, so he you believe have, there has to be oh, an inventor? Like, oh, no, you, no, you believe, not. Hold on, you believe. Robot and put him in jail. You believe there has to be an inventor? Robot. And destroy that robot. We don't want that guy destroying people, right? Hold on, you... So the point is, we have jails because we don't want people to murder. Hold on, it's so, that simple. So, so you believe, you believe, you believe that we have an inventor? What? You said if an I invent a robot in regards to the conversation, then I said, wait, you believe we have an inventor? Oh my God. When I say invention, I don't mean somebody just poofing a robot there. I mean taking parts and combining them into a robot. That's all we mean by creation. That's what we actually mean. We don't mean somebody just poofed us here like you so, think. You on. think so God you believe just we were created? And we're here. You believe we were created? What? You believe we you believe we were created? No, creation's nonsense. We evolved. You just said, we you changed. Just said creation. You believe we believe that we were created by parts and stuff? No, we, we are just made of particles that are shaped in this way. That's all we are. I never said we were created from you nothing. Did? The only oh, one someone screen recording it? Oh my God, brother! You are. <laughs> Bro, I, you're I hope funny. Someone's good because you did, you said you said created. We I yeah when we say when I say I created a painting, what we actually mean is I took paint, I took a brush, I took paper, and I just combined them together. I don't mean I just poofed a painting here right from nothing. That's what you mean. I don't. I don't mean that. You. Say, well, that's what you, you say. God just poofed us from nothing. He he poofed us out from and everything just came here from nothing. That's what you think, right? 
That's what Genesis and the the, Genesis, the Quran I'm says. That, I'm sorry. The, well, the Quran stole from creation story in 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 the Bible, but you can believe that you believe that you believe that God just poofed us here, right? No, not poofed. What, so what what did he create us from? Well, it says mentin, and then you know he blew his spirit into us, and there was this whole process mentioned in the Quran. So he blew our spirit. So you said poof, you now have spirit from nothing. Is that what you believe? Hold on, what he didn't say poof. What are you talking about? If you talk about oh, Quran, okay. so what did Allah do? How, how did he create? How did how did Allah create us? I explained to you from teen, he molded us. He blew a spirit from into clay. Us. Huh? Did you say from clay? Teen. You teen, say from clay. Teen. Teen. What's that? Teen. It's an Arabic word. It could be translated in like 40 different ways. What's it mean? Dirt? I mean, it can mean dirt, clay, but we weren't created from okay, dirt. Yeah. We're, we're not made from clay, my friend. We're not actually made from clay. That's know, an know, old See, mythology. Is, I want everyone to point That's out. old everyone, mythology. Hold on. I want everyone we're to point out the clay. straw man. I want everyone to point out the straw man that just took place. Show me, when did I say clay? When did I say we were created from clay? You said dirt. No, I said it could well, mean dirt, it could mean this, it could mean that, it could mean something in the heavens. It's clay, right? It could mean clay too, right? Because the Quran does say Hold clay. On. You're saying it could be, it could mean clay, so we have to accept it as clay? Well, the Quran says it. The Quran says teen. The Quran, the Quran clay, says teen. Right? The Quran says teen. Okay, and what does that word mean in English? I told you, you can translate it in 30 different ways, but translation would be... Okay, and clay is one of the ways, right? Yeah. Okay, well, that's then... Okay. What you so you? What so, did you, I... You, straw man. <laughs> Where's my straw man? Because, because I never said clay. Because it could mean clay, you're saying it is. Not only is that a straw man... Okay. Hold on, not only is it Just a straw man... Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Okay. I'm going to point out the two fallacies oh you gosh. use. I'm going to point out the two fallacies you, you use. It's a straw... Three, actually. A straw man. It's also a red hearing. It's also a fallacy of equivocation. Mike, this light bulb right here, right there on my ceiling, runs on electricity. Do you believe right now it's running like this? Because that's what run no. means. No, no I don't. Not. I don't think. No, it's not. So when I tell you, okay. when when I tell you, I just have a couple questions. I just have a couple questions about the Quran. Go ahead. Um, when God says in sixty five twelve, there's seven earths. What is what did He mean by seven earths? It's the earths. Where, where are they? Yeah, where are they? It could be in different universes. It could be in here. But these are, if you read chapter 3, verse 7 of the Qur'an, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says there are verses that are the stronghold of the Qur'an and the foundation of the Qur'an. And then there are verses that are ambiguous. And those who will try, those who will try to correct that, will go to look for the ambiguous verses when they don't know the meaning of it. <laughs> okay, well, you know, you know that in Sumerian mythology, they also had the idea of seven earths and seven heavens. You know that the Qur'an stole that from the Sumerian people, from the Sumerian civilization. So the Prophet ﷺ had access to them? Yes, what this the, is a well-known fact are. that Muhammad like... knew about all these different versions. He read about them? Muhammad knew. Yes, Muhammad had access to a lot of things. The Bible, he actually, he had access to a lot of different things. Okay, do you, and he on, took all on, those different do mythologies. Take, up into... do, you take, do you take historical evidence? Historical evidence as evidence? Sure. Okay, historical evidence shows that the Prophet ﷺ was illiterate. So what was he reading? No, no, no. Just because he was literate doesn't mean he couldn't understand things. So people, um, hold, he on, obviously, hold on, hold on, hold well, on. That hold told on. him these things. Let's, let's, he had people beside him. <laughs> he had people beside him that was telling him all these things. Why didn't any of them come through? Why didn't we have evidence that they were telling him? We do. <laughs> well, you're saying because it matches, it is. Obviously, Muhammad was illiterate. He couldn't write the Quran. So obviously, somebody had to write it for him, right? So somebody was just jotting his... So obviously he was talking to people about this. He was talking he was to people. Hold on. When he was revealing, he was revealing originally, 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 people weren't jotting it down. The Quran isn't something that's just written. It's an oral transmission as well. Which is the worst because people lie and people say things that are just wrong. Okay. Like, okay. Tell, like the, I, I agree. I agree. People I, lie. People do this. People do that. Okay. okay. Well... Hold on, hold on, hold let's, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Let me finish, Yaki. Let me finish. Okay. Let me finish. Sorry. Let me finish. Eighty years after the Prophet Islam, Islam was expanded from Arabia to Jerusalem to Spain 
to see into China, Islam had already reached all these places. All right. If what you're saying is true, people could lie and people could do this. And I agree with you. Why isn't the Quran? Why isn't the Quran different in these places? Because people wrote it down and the people they didn't change it. Okay, they could have changed it. So they could have changed the Bible. Know how to speak Arabic? Know how to uh, read and write Arabic? What? The people in China. <laughs> what? The people in China. No, it was okay, in China. Al no. Hold on, I want everybody to hear this. Salman al Fad. No, yeah, Sal uh, Salman al Farisi. Salman al Farisi, radiyallahu an, was not an, Ar an uh, Arab. He was not an Arab. He was Persian. He accepted Islam and he went and gave da'wah in India. So a non-Arab giving da'wah to non-Arabs at the time of the Salaf, the first, not even just the Salaf, at the time of the Sahaba, yani the first 30 years after the Prophet ﷺ's death, he was doing this. He was non-Arab, okay. hold on, he was non-Arab giving da'wah, preaching the Qur'an to non-Arabs, to non-Arabs, and yet, and yet, and yet, it still matches exactly with what the Arabs had in Arabia. And then you tell me, oh, because... Okay. Great, great. Now, can you get to the evidence for God? You, you still haven't gotten there. Mike, you're sidetracking me. I want to get to it. Then you said, let me ask you questions about the Quran. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, go ahead. I'll let you talk okay. about the evidence for God now. Okay. Mike, do you believe... I'm going to ask you this again. I want you to give me a straight for a yes or no. Okay? Do you believe that the world exists only of possible existences? <sighs> The world exists of only possible existences. Sure. You you believe that? Sure, yes. So you don't see that there's an infinite regress fallacy? Infinite regress is not a fallacy. It, yes, it is. Um, infinite, that's, on, it, infinite regress is based on a very poor philosophy of time. We don't even really know what time is. So you don't, there's, um, there's, there's no, no infinite regress? Number two, the universe could be cyclic. It could, it could expand, contract forever and ever. Um, so the universe could be eternal. Um, and time as we know it doesn't... Hold on, the it universe, could be different time? than... Time as we think it exists might just be something completely different. We don't understand time very well. Hold on. Oh, wait. It doesn't so show. But, I, but I'll read it for you. It's, giving you, it's telling you what infinite regression fallacy is. Infinite regress. It's a fallacy. It's a logical fallacy. I know what it is. I know what it is, but it's just based on a poor philosophy of time so so it is a fallacy no no it's not a fallacy bro it's not hold on i'm not even i'm not even referring to time yes you are infinite no. regress implies that cause and effect which occurs in time right no, I'm time talking about, know it. hold on hold on i'm talking about dependencies it's a series it's a series all that has to be okay. for there to be an infinite great regression okay fallacy. great hold on i'm not okay, talking great. hold on you mentioned cause and effect mike so this is what i'm talking about this, these are the red hearings the red herrings in the strong energy. I don't mention God. You say you input God. I don't mention cause and effect. You say I mention cause and effect. You start talking about cause and effect. These are red herrings. I'm going to explain to you why it's an infinite regression fallacy. If you have an a existence, a world, that only the, the, the world only exists with dependent existences, you fall into infinite regression. What do you mean? Because you they just, can't just all give be dependent possible existences. If I... Bro, I, I, I never know. said there's possible existences. I said the universe itself may... I'm conceding that the universe itself might be necessary, period. Let's just move on. Just give the evidence for God now. Hold on, I can hold on. see the but universe, the universe can't... Necessary. Okay, this is the universe, right? These are the properties of the universe, and this is the whole universe, okay? Are you, you can't saying... say that. You, know, you can't say that this is the universe. The universe might be everything there is and ever will be. The totality of all things. Hold on, no, I'm not, I'm not, saying, I'm not saying that, oh, then here comes a little frog. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying just for sake of argument, these are the properties of the universe, and this is of the un this is the universe. You're saying the universe as a whole, as a whole, is in is uh, necessary, right? Yes. The, but the properties are independent. I mean, are uh, possible dependent on the universe. No, there might be an underlying. Uh, again, I'll, I'll explain this again to you because you didn't get it. There might be an underlying property of the universe that is necessary and does not change. At all. What do you mean underlying property of the universe? Something that is within the universe? Yes. Okay, so if this is the necessary existence, let's say this is it, right? This is it. Does this mean the universe, the universe is a possible existence? The universe is a necessary existence. There is and a natural... A property, hold on. 
the universe is a there's a natural and property so, within it that is necessary. Hold on, the property within it is necessary, and the universe yes. itself is necessary. Everything else, all the properties that you're saying, time and space, they're just emergent off of that necessary foundation. So, time, space, and matter are emergence of it, so they're dependent on it. Yes. Like I said, what do you want to call this? What do you want to say? What I say, time, space, no, and matter. Hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking. No, time does not. De um, time depends on the universe, but the universe itself does not depend on time. That's the point. So the universe would exist the same way without time? Yes. Uh, this, this property of the universe that we don't know about yet may exist and be the necessary foundation to no, the, the universe, universe itself. itself. Yes, that's what I'm saying. It, hold the on, universe the universe, the universe itself, would, I want you to say that. I want you to put it in a statement. The universe itself would exist the same way without time. Put it in a statement. The, the known universe? Of course not. Mike, the known universe, the universe is part of the universe. Oh my gosh, dude. I'm, I'm simply telling you that there's a property of the universe that may exist, that may be necessary. So if you say but may exist, true. hold on. If you say may exist, if you say may and it could, could it not? Well, you're saying the same about God. No, you're I'm saying, saying I'm not, I, like I said, I'm not mentioning God, Mike. I'm not mentioning him at all. You keep mentioning. I know, but I'm using, I'm using your argument against you. You're no, you're saying, not. I'm oh, not well, mentioning God. You keep pushing God. I, it, I never mentioned God. Is once. it possible? I can conceive of a world where God does not exist. Can you? Mike, I'm not mentioning God. You're playing into another red herring. I know this. But you're, you're playing using into another this red herring. Argument. That God is necessary you, and he can't, he just all possible worlds. I can conceive a world where God does not exist. To, 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 to give everyone, not only is it a red herring, it's a pre assumption fallacy that that's what my argument is going to be. I'm going to ask you again, Mike, when you say, when you say that this could be necessary, it could not be, that negates it being necessary. I'm talking about. That's, there ha hold on, yeah, hold on. What I'm saying, what I'm saying is, God. there has to be. Hold on. What I'm saying is, there has to be a necessary existence. Okay, let's. I'll concede to that. Let's say the no, universe. Don't concede. A, don't concede. I'm like, I want you to either. Do you agree or disagree? I can't. I don't have enough information to agree or disagree. Like you pretend you do, but all I can do is concede to the argument and say yes. There, it, you, it, there may be an necessary foundation as you define it, and that is the universe itself. Mike, now let's move the forward. Universe, the universe. Let's go on. Hold on, the universe, you can't have a world that exists of all possible existences. Yes, you can. It's called the the found, It's called the necessary foundation of reality. There's a property, a natural property of the universe that contains all possible worlds. It is there. So, wait, what? You're saying there's, there's a necessary... A, hold on. You're saying... Hold on. You're there's, saying, a there's, there's a property. There's a property of the universe. So now you're making that is an active claim that there's a necessary property of the universe versus a world. It's its nature. Yes. It's the, the, in the universe's nature, there is a property where it is the, the necessary foundation for all other universes that stem from it. And we are part of that. We're, we're a universe that stems from this necessary foundation in a multiverse, right? It's like the multiverse. And we are just, and there's many different universes. I don't know what they all mean stem by multiverse. From, sorry, property. Well, I'm I'm trying to use your argument against you. <laughs> Define multiverse. I don't know it. I can. It's just a collection of universes, right? That's all it means. So um, then, hold on. But at the there's a foundation. Of all the, the there's a foundation, foundation from all this multiverse. There's a foundation outside of them. Yes. Independent. Yes, independent. So outside of the multiverses. No, it, it within the universe. Mike, it is, you keep it is independent. Your answer. In the universe. It is. It could be outside. Or, it doesn't matter where it is. It's an independent property of existence that all the, the either the all the universes stem from. So all the universes depend on it. Yes. Okay. And we are part of it, right? We are dependent on this. I agree. Necessary I agree. Okay. That I is agree. natural and not, I agree. Listen, not a god. So this this all universes depend on it. Does time, space, and matter depend on it? Uh, no, it doesn't depend on anything. No, 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 no. Does time depend on it? Not does it depend on time? Oh, yeah. Time. Do, yeah, of course. Time so depends on it. All the universes, yes. time, space, and matter. What, what else do we got? Us, we all depend At, on it. Anything. The known universe depends on this necessary foundation, um, which is na a natural thing. Is there anything like it? Can there be no, two? Is, no. No. It, it, 
the necessary foundation of existence itself. So it's only one? Yep. كل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يرد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد I keep telling you this much you keep rejecting it that's our foundation for what God is okay but now you're going to say but you're just calling you're just defining it God I can define it Jim no, John Mike, you Jacob defined him for me. you defined it for me okay now show me how it's your God how it's conscious how it's any of this it, like I said it doesn't Mike, have- Hold on. It doesn't have to be conscious, right? Mike. This message, the necess- hold on. The necessary foundation does not have to be conscious, right? Why not? It doesn't have to be. Why does it have to be conscious? Nothing in the universe is conscious that causes other things, right? There could be, not everything is conscious, right? So there could be something that is not conscious, that is not a God, and is necessary. Right? Hold on. So, hold on. Because not everything is conscious, it is not conscious? Yes. Hold on. But yes, this it's thing, possible that it's not conscious. Be, before, before, right? before, before anything, anything besides this necessary foundation, before any of it existed, right? Did it exist? My God. Listen, listen, the point is that, yes, I agree to it. There, there could be a necessary foundation, which is a natural thing. Now, you're giving it this God thing. You're, a God implies that it's conscious, that it loves you, that it wants to create you. None of that is necessary at all. That's just something you made up. Hold on. You can the, say I made it up. Hold on. That hold on. Hold on. Did, hold on. The universe. Did, were, we, were we created from this thing? No, we weren't created from it. We emerged from this thing. We emerged from it. Whether you want to say emerged, create, we came from this. Yes, but at the end of the day, we're always here, right? It, because it is eternal, we were always eternal too. What? Oh my God, you don't understand this? Because the necessary foundation is eternal, so are we. We were always here. We we're just part of this necessary foundation. And, that, um, well, that and that it doesn't no longer part of it. Not conscious. Listen, listen, listen. It's not conscious. It's not a god. It's just a necessary foundation. You're, you're, you can call it God, but it doesn't matter what you call it. I it's agree. a necessary it's foundation. Done. It doesn't have to be I, conscious. I, it doesn't have to be anything. It doesn't have to be loving. It, it could be evil. It could be bad. It doesn't have to be anything that you're describing it to be. It can be a necessary foundation, not God. Now show me how you think it's God. I explained to you how. Because we have a foundation of what God is, and you defined it for me. And I said that's to my... You're just not, so, now, so now you're just defining God into existence. I'm Define not, hold on, God hold on, hold on, hold as on. you claim it. You're, you're, hold on. You're, trying, God. You're, trying, you're trying to yes. paint this. You're trying to paint this as a sharpshooter fallacy, but it's not because you defined it for me. Just okay. No, no. We defined a necessary. We did not define God, my friend. We defined a necessary foundation. Now, tell me how God, what the Abraham God you believe in, Allah, whatever you want to call it, describe how that. I only, I only conceded to a necessary foundation. I did not concede to God. It, like I, okay, do you know what? Okay, the word we already discussed the word necessary found the word necessary existence comes from the word truth, right? Okay, okay, in Arabic, in Arabic, in Arabic, I'm gonna talk a little bit of Arabic. And the haq means truth, a possible truth, al haq means a necessary truth, right? One of the names of God for us is al haq. So if you want to, if me and you were speaking Arabic. You would be saying, I concede to Al Haq. I concede to Al Haq. Okay. Can you just get to hold how on, you think it's all? Like, if you want to, do you agree? You're wasting you can, your breath. Do you concede to Al Haq? You're wasting your time. Do you you're concede, wasting your breath. Hold on. Do you concede to Al Haq? You're wasting your breath. You just concede, give the evidence. Do you concede? I don't even know what you. Do you concede? I don't speak Arabic. I don't even know what you. I don't know even. I don't even know what you just said. You're wasting your time. Al Haq means necessarily true. The necessarily true existence. Do you, you don't know any necessary truths. You, you don't know any you absolute. To it. No, no, no. I no, consider to, a, to a, it. No, I consider to a necessary foundation, not necessary truth. We don't know any necessary truths. As far we don't know of any absolute truths. We don't know of any absolute truths. Yeah. Do you know of any absolute truths in this universe? One plus one equals two. That that's true because we define it as true. So for, sure, yeah. in mathematics. It, Okay, but it's only true because even, we define it even as true. about th- based, things outside based on, of math. Based on how we define terms, we can produce absolutely absolute truth. What? Based on how we define terms, we can produce absolute truth. How do you... Yeah, so again, you're defining things into existence. Hold on, hold That's on. That's all you're no, doing. No, no, no. The statement, all bachelors are single. Is that true? Okay. 
That is, yes, that is logically true, yes. Is it's that absolutely, absolutely true? true. No, it's not absolutely How? true. Absolutely true. That, be, that means we'd have to know all the facts about the universe to make that statement. So, hold on. Define me a bachelor. What does a bachelor mean? Okay, listen. A logic and math, these are analytic truths, right? I'm talking about absolute truths that are outside of logic and math. That's what I'm talking about. Logic and math are things that we invented. We define them as true because that's how we, you know, we think. But show me an absolute truth that is outside of logic and math. You can't find it to me. You can't give it to me. What do, what do you mean outside of logic and math? Yes, outside of math and logic, we don't have many absolute truths. No, but we can we can conclude for example, the absolute gravity, truth for example, logic gravity, right? You said for what? example, gravity. For example, gravity. We don't know what it actually is. We don't know. We don't know the absolute truth about gravity. For example, right? You don't know the absolute truth about God or anything else. Hold on, you're talking. Can we find the absolute truth of things yes. that we don't know yes. about? Do, do you do you think God is absolutely true? Yes. Okay. I don't know how you, now, how do you know it's true? How do you know it's absolutely true that God is real? Hold on, hold on. Uh, what's it called? Be believing something is absolutely true isn't predicated on knowledge. Knowledge is predicated on so, truth. Yeah, somebody made a great comment. Somebody said, do you believe in coffee cups, Mike? Ha, got you, because I said God is coffee cups. See, that's exactly what you're doing. You're just defining God as this no, very no, foundation. That's, that's, you might you believe totally, in God. That's totally different. That's just, hold on. No, no, no. That's totally different. No, that's exactly what you just no, no, did. No, 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 no. I want to hold see on. the I'm evidence. I'm I want to see the evidence for God. I'm, I'm going to explain to you how that's different, how that's different. If you, if you want to tell me this is God and you believe in it, then what you believe is God exists. Whether you want to call it God oh, or whatever. Great. Hold on, hold on. Hold on hold if on. you want to call coffee cups God, fine. That's <laughs> you. That doesn't you. mean I believe in a magic man that's that you. talks to you like Allah. I, I right? don't believe God is a man. Yeah, that's a gun. That's a okay, whatever. He acts like a man. He, he, he gets angry if you, if you sin. And do you, he, hold on. Do you, you know, know, do you know God? He smites people. Hold he on, he you, goes to hold, war with people. God, hold on. Do you think God's anger is emotion? Yeah, anger is an emotion. No, we don't believe that God's... Uh, God has why not? You're just making no sense. What do you mean I'm making just, no oh, sense? God. Because hold on. God's hold anger on, is not on. real anger. It doesn't make any sense. Hold what on, you're hold saying. On. I'll just give the evidence this for this God. What I'm about. This is what I'm talking about. You're not a Muslim. You're not a Muslim. You didn't study Islam. You don't know about Islam. So you make these pre-assumption fallacies and then you come at me with them. I, I told Oh my you, hold god. On. Hold on. My just definition of give. God. Hold on. My definition of God. My definition of God. When I explained it to you and I went step by step, step by step, step by step. You said, yes, I agree. Yes, I agree. Yes, I agree. Then I tell you, okay, this is exactly, exactly how the Quran defines God. Then you tell me, well, you're defining it. You're defining God into creation. No, defining the Quran is not. Wait, wait, wait. The Quran, wait, 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 the Quran wait. does not say necessary foundation. That's not what the Quran says. Hold on, hold on. I'm talking to you about Surah The Quran Al does not hold ever on, say necessary on, foundation. I, I ask you, hold on. <laughs> I, I want everyone here to understand. I ask them, can there be anything like this necessary foundation, necessary existence? He says, no. True or not? Okay. Okay. Can you start to the evidence again? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna go step by step because now you're you're lying on my name. You're lying on my name. Is this thing beyond time, space, and matter? I e. Is it beyond time, space, and matter? I e. Not bound by them. Yes. Okay. Is this thing? Can there be two? Is it only one? It's only one. Can you just get to the evidence? This, hold on. This chapter, this chapter, this chapter, the Prophet ﷺ named Dude, it. I'm not here. I'm not, hold on, I hold don't on. want to get preached. Listen, listen. Wait, he named quiet. it. He I'm, named not here it. To get, he named I'm not here to get preached at. Just give I'm the not, evidence. I'm not, I'm not here to get preached at. You're saying, the Stop Prophet preaching. Just give Islam, the evidence. Name this. Name this. Surah at tawheed meaning the chapter that defines God. The chapter that defines God. Mike agrees to every single point for the necessary foundation. He agrees to every single point to us how we describe I don't God. I don't agree. I don't agree that God's conscious. Do you think God's conscious? Huh, Mike, I told you what how we define is God, God the conscious. Hold on, is the God conscious? The foundation for no, define stop. conscious. It doesn't matter. Define is God conscious. conscious. Define conscious because you couldn't define it before. Is he aware? Is he aware of himself? Is he aware of things? That's not how you defined it beforehand. Oh my god, dude. Is God aware? Does God think? No, but that's not how you defined it before. God does God think. Oh my God! Just answer the does question. God it's think? simple. Does God no, think? No, God doesn't think. God doesn't. He, he doesn't have consciousness. 
No, you said think. You said think. Does God have thoughts like... Hmm. God doesn't think? No. God just knows. What? Yes. You... That goes against what the Quran says. Show me, hold on. Insane. Hold on. Show me in the Quran where God... Has God been. literally... <laughs> if God doesn't think, the Quran makes no sense. What do you mean? Well, show me in the Quran where it says God is thinking. <laughs> Bro, you can't be serious. Hold on. Show me in the Quran where it says God is thinking. Bro. Dude, he judges you. He does all these things. They all require thoughts. He gets angry. He does does all require thoughts. He hold gets on, upset. On, he no, gets no, sad. No, no. Th those... See that's what I'm saying. You're equivocating yourself to God, which is which is another fallacy. But bro, so I'm I'm supposed to worship something that doesn't think. <laughs> I'm supposed to worship God with no it has no brain. I have more brains than God. Come on, dude. Bro, bro, you think if you're God, gonna say that on, God is on, all on, knowing? Hold on, hold on. If you're this gonna is, say that God knows this all, is the and issue. doesn't think. This then is the issue. This what? is the issue, bro. If this guy, if this guy does believe, would ever take believe in God. It would ha he would have to be a mujassam, just for the comments to know that he would have to be a mujassam. This guy's telling me God has to have a brain. Yes, it, this, is God all knowing? Hold on. Yes, God is all knowing. Is God all knowing? Yes. Does God know all? Yes. How do you know without thinking? <laughs> that, that's how God works. God is not like. How do you? Hold on. Oh, I'm, I'm, okay. I'm gonna give. Me. I can say the same about unicorns. I can say unicorns don't need to think. <laughs> Dude, what are you saying? You can say, but hold on. You can say that. I don't care if you say that. But hold on. Oh my God, dude! In order to know things, you mustn't think. How you? If you know, dude, bro, you are so lost. No, I'm no, sorry. no, no, no. Hold you're, on. You're in order to I'm know sorry. things, in order to know things, you must, you must think. Do, do you yes. know? <laughs> you have to have a brain. Hold on, to hold know on. Things. If I, if I, if I were to ask you, do you exist? You would have to think. Wait, do I exist? In order to know that you exist, or do you just know? That's in order to know. You have to have thought. You have to think. Hold on. No, you don't. Bro. So, so, so this is where we disagree. Right? You think God is... Okay, what other properties do you think God has? Al-Haq. I, I don't speak Arabic. The necessary. I, I don't know what that means. The necessary. Like what? Just give me the characteristics. The necessary. That's the, char that's the characteristic. Oh my God. Yes, and how do you... Def what, what characteristics does he have? Is he all-knowing? Is he all-powerful? Yeah, all-knowing, yes, yes. You know, the most of okay. the basics that you might maybe come from your uh, Christian background, but we differ on some. If you want me to okay. name them, al bar right? al okay. do, do, you, do you think the okay, so you believe in Allah, right? So do you think the Quran is 100% true? Do you yes, think the yes, Quran 100%, is absolutely true? 100%. Okay. All right. So when the, when the Quran says that cow's milk is pure... Uh, in 1666 it says cow's milk is pure how is that true it's you know, we know that's false how is it true it's true what do you mean cow's milk is pure cow's milk is not pure it contains infections and bacteria and disease oh, have to, that's why you have show, to show me the verse milk. show me the verse 1666 in the quran okay. it says cow's milk is pure and good for humans <laughs> when it's the opposite people are lactose intolerant there's bacteria in milk it's disgusting 1666 Yes. <laughs> it also says that in 24, I think 2455 or 2548, that God causes the thunder, <laughs> God causes clouds, <laughs> God blows the wind. Hold on. And like, indeed, and indeed hold on, hold on. Hold on. And indeed, for you in grazing livestock is a lesson. We give you a drink from what is in their beliefs between extortion and blood, pure milk, palatable, and drinkers. What's wrong with this? Milk isn't pure. Yeah, it's it says, full of bacteria. It says we give, so there's no such thing as pure milk? No, it's there full isn't? of bacteria. And so when, every milk has disease in it? Yes. Yes. Just like your urine or your poop, it has bacteria in it. That's why. Milk has to be pasteurized before we drink it. That's why people get infections and hold disease on, on, when they drink it if, when without being pasteurized. Hold on, hold on. When it's pasteurized, when it's pasteurized, is it pure? No, it's still not pure. There's still so some bacteria still in it. it? There's all of it. So you still can't drink it? There's no such thing as pure milk. It does not exist. Define pure. 
here means there's nothing wrong with it. There's no, there's no, there's nothing wrong with it. Hold on. Milk is actually harmful. Hold and on. I, yeah, and actually milk is harmful for you. Milk is more harmful than you than good. Yeah, and guess what? The reason why the Quran says this is because the people who wrote it, the dumb, the dumbies hey, who yo, wrote yo, stop, the Quran. Stop, stop. See now, now you're going. Stop. Oh, now you're getting emotional about your. Yeah, no, Quran. no, I'm not getting emotional. I'm telling the you to stop. The dumb, the dumb because, people who on, wrote I've, the Quran. I've held respect for you. The dumb I've, people on, who wrote the Quran. I've held respect. Stop for it. You. Hold on. I still respect you. What? The dumb people who wrote the Quran. The dumb people who wrote the Quran. They didn't know about pasteurization. They didn't know about science. They didn't know about anything like that. Hold on, okay, hold on. that's why they that's why they said it was pure milk because they didn't know any better. They called that's it how dumb pure, they hold on. were. They didn't say that cows produce pure milk. They just called it pure milk, and not they. He hold on, wait, wait. Yeah, that's the same thing. Hold on. No, <laughs> it's, it's not. Thing, no, it's not. If I say someone is uh, he's a fast runner, is that the same thing as saying he's this runner is the fastest or whatever? If you get what I mean. Oh my, yeah. Hey, I'm hey, sorry. Hold on, I'm on. Because, hold on, I'm because, lost, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, 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 now, because, hold on, wait, 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 let me, let me say, let me talk, let me talk, let me talk, let me talk, can I talk? Okay, fine, I'll give you another minute. Because you respect love the window, it's going to leave the window for me too now. I'm going to treat you with the same validity you treated me. Do you refer to yourself, do you believe that humans are animals? Of course, we are animals. Okay. Do you mind if I refer to you? Not, do you mind if I refer to you moving on forward as al haywan? I don't care what you refer okay, to. Okay, haywan. 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 God. I just want, I I just want evidence. Haywan. Haywan. So, 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 Anyways, yeah, haywan. Okay. So the haywan, the haywan, haywan. Respect left the wound out of him. Now we're gonna talk to you, yeah, haywan. About morality. There's, there's, uh, Let's talk about all morality. I want you to do. My favorite topic. My favorite topic. I didn't want to bring it up because I knew you get upset at it. Yeah, hi, when. Does Allah want you to do this? <laughs> I, don't think, I think Allah's watching you, dude. He doesn't want you to do this. I think he wants you to be respectful. Allah's watching. Who? Allah uh, wants you want to, to respect go to respect you? Don't you want to go to heaven? I'm, I'm not disrespecting you. I'm not disrespecting you. <laughs> I'm saying I'm, I'm being nice to you. You said you're an animal. You said you're an animal. Now I'm going to call you Haywan. And plus, uh, Mike, uh, we're going to talk about other stuff. You've made some horrible claims in a video <laughs> that you deleted that you didn't retract. And I'm, I want you to retract it right now. It didn't it, get deleted. They got blocked because you, you, your friends blocked it. I didn't get. Hold I didn't on, delete hold on, anything. Hold on. Okay, do you know what video I'm gonna bring up? Look how Subhanallah. I guarantee you, it didn't get blocked. He probably deleted that. Is Islam in uh, line? Hold no, on. No, don't hold tell on. me is what Islam, I. Did? Hold on. After when Islam came, Islam is in in line with the moral values of uh, the pre-Islamic Arabia. Yeah. It is. <laughs> no doubt. It's in line? Not completely in line, of course not. But obviously, people back then thought, like, the Quran says that women are, are lesser than men, no, right? That's no, what people... It literally says women and yes, women are equal in the eyes of Allah. Why do they, then why do women then why do women get less inheritance when they... when? Because they... Hold on, hold on, on. Because Islam, we don't believe in equality. We believe in equity. For example, I can exactly. say... Hold on, I, exactly. Hold on. You don't hold believe on. in equality. Hold on. Exactly. That's hold why on. We, believe, we, are believe, we believe we get to the I same. believe in equality. I Hold on, you, you believe in equality? You believe in equality? Yes. Okay. Yes, I do. Okay. Okay. Do you believe equality works on all levels? I think women should be treated just like men. In all aspects. Equal- in all aspects. In all aspects. They have res- less responsibility. What are you talking about? They have Hold equal on. Hold on. Wait, responsibility. Wait, wait, wait. No, nobody talk to them. Don't read the comments. Don't read the comments. When a lady goes to the doctor, should she be treated the same as a man? Yes, of course they should. It says women have to shut their mouth and obey the husband. That's what the Quran says. What? They have to obey. It says, show me in one time in the Quran where it says women shut their mouth. There are many verses where it says show you, have to, me, you show can me. beat don't say, women. Don't say there is. Don't say there okay. is. Show me, show me. Hold on, hold on, show me. Hold on, that's number one. Number two, you believe, hold on. You believe oh. women. Hold on, wait, wait. You believe women and men should be medically treated the same way. Which is absurd. What? Their bodies are that. different. I said they should be treated equally with the same amount of respect. No, no, I'm not the talking Quran about I asked you in all aspects. The Quran. Hi, when, hi, when. I asked you in all aspects. I asked you in all aspects. Should men and women be treated, treated at the doctors the same in the sense of medical treatment? In all aspects. I mentioned all. I don't know if you know equal. what all means. I don't know if you know what all means. That means in every aspect. 
should they be treated for when the same I disease say, as oh you said? Gosh. Hold on, you said, you said, yes, yes. But hold on, hold on, okay. Taiwan, when it comes to medical treatment, you believe in equity. If I want to make the argument, I can make the argument that the Quran says women are better than men. Even though I don't believe it, I can make the argument. Men are required to pay women mahat, 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 where whatever she no. asks, if you want to marry her, yeah, whatever she requests, what, hold on, what. whatever she requests, you have to do it. Her money is her money. Your money is her money. Did you ever hear when the But you get less money, you get less money. Hold on. It's it's ridiculous. Hold on, it's not hold on. Equal. The woman, the woman, whatever money she makes, she keeps to herself. She keeps to herself. They're not allowed to make Hold on. They're not allowed to make They're not allowed. Hold on. Khadija radiyallahu anha, the wife of the right, Prophet alayhi salatu was Hold you on, hold on, hold on. Because you're an idiot, bro. You're you're We're a brick. Now let me talk. Hold on. Khadija, look at well, I predicted that. Run it. Khadija radiyallahu anha owned a business, the wife of the Prophet. Are you done? She can't make money? How? She's making money. Guess what? The Quran says that you can beat women if they disobey you. Hold on. If the men, if the men, do you know what the word darab is? You don't listen to the men, you get to get. Do you know what the word darab is? Yes, it means to beat. Okay, what does it mean if I say darabta an al achal? Darabta against the food. That means I'm beating up my food? Oh my gosh. In the context of that verse, it means to beat. Hold on. Period. No, you know what's funny? Um, you know what's funny? The, the prophet, hold on. The prophet, in... the prophet, the prophet, the prophet, alayhi was Let asked about some, uh... this verse. He was asked about this verse and he said, no, no, don't beat them. Don't beat them. You can't hit them in Dude, the face. Muhammad... You can't cause your wife pain. You, hold on. You can't cause your wife pain. Dude, Muhammad literally beheaded people. He literally had sex slaves. Muhammad was an awful person. Beh he was on, a warlord. On, he was a dictator. On, he was disgusting. Hold on. Hold on. Now we're going into morality. Any moral argument from the against the Prophet ﷺ you bring is nullified because you're an atheist who's a moral nihilist that holds a subjective moral view. Not even subjective. You don't even believe in moral truths. That's number one. Number okay, two, great. any now, argument, hold on, any yeah. argument, hold on, any argument you make against nah. the Prophet 1400 years nah. ago nah. would be a nah. presentism and a historian fallacy. Mike, this is why I call you fallacious, Yahya. Calm Hayman. down, calm down, calm down. Okay. Do you where do you get your morality from? From the Quran. Oh, and the Quran is what? Subjective. Somebody's subjective opinion, right? The Quran is not subjective. How do you know that? How do I know that? Because every Muslim would take from the Quran their morality. And we believe. The Quran. We, hold on, we believe. We believe. Was the Quran written? Was the Quran. Listen, listen. Was the Quran. Shut up. Was the Quran. Sure, was the up. Quran. Was the Quran written by people? The Quran. The beliefs of the Quran. Came at the time no, 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 of Adam. No, no, that's not what I asked, my friend. Was the Quran written by people? No, it came from God. It's an oral transmission. So, God wrote the Quran. I didn't say it right. I said it was an oral transmission. Okay, so who wrote the Quran? The Quran is an oral transmission. Who? Okay, who spoke about the Quran? People, right? No, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Who talked about the Quran? Who talked about who it? Who taught us the Quran? Yes, who, who, who talk talks about the Quran? Who, who made up the Quran? Quran? Who invented the Quran? Allah who, who wrote about it? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah, he invented people, it. People, right? Who wrote it physically? People. Physically? People. Okay, people. Yes, people, right? People. Great. And people's opinions and people are subjective, right? They're not subjectively true, right? Just because I say something doesn't mean it's subjectively true, right? It's, sub it's subjective. Finished. You, you, I don't think you understand. So, I don't think you understand. You, and if you say that, morality. if you, oh my God, if you say that you get your morality from the Quran, then the Quran is also subjective. It's your subjective opinion that the Quran is true. But hold on, you my, get your morality. My, my opinion. My, hold on, like my, I do. My, so we're in the same boat. No, no, no. My opinion. My opinion that the Quran is true doesn't make it subjective. That's the one of the worst arguments. You clearly, my friend, what? Do you clearly demonstrated. Hold on, hold on. You clearly, you clearly demonstrated Bruh. that you. Hold on, bro. Because, you're, you're, I'm not talking subjective. about objective. I'm sorry. Wait, 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 wait. I'm not talking about subjective. Oh my god, you can't be serious. Your not... opinion is subjective. You just said it's your no. opinion is objective. No, 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 no. That's, no. Not, That's not what I said. 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 Right. So it's, it's subjective. Hold on. Wait. Right? Let me talk. You ask it's me a question. Right? Let me answer. You ask me a question. Let me answer. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Real quick. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. I'm about I'll, to leave. I'll make it quick, Yahya. Wen. I'll make it quick. Okay. The Quran. If you follow the Quran or not is a subjective opinion. I agree with you on that. The Quran itself is objective. When you rely your moral grounds on that, whether God exists or not, religion yes. exists. Hold on. Whether God exists or not, 
religion okay. exists. And and guess all, what? I can base my morality on it. I can base my morality on something objective too. Empathy. Empathy is not objective. Don't. We're in the same boat, my empathy, friend. Your empathy can change throughout time. Yes. Yes, it yes, can. That's you. Guess, that's you. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. But I base you, my morality on. on that. Hold on. But I base my morality on my own emotions and my own empathy. Yeah, right? but your emotions can um, change throughout time. Yeah, and the Quran can change too, right? No, it can't. What are you talking about? The Quran, people can write, talk about it differently, right? No, the Quran can't change. Okay, well, how do you know? Okay, if the Quran isn't, it can't change. And how do you know that's objectively true? How do you know it? Well, the, the Quran can't change. How do you know the Quran is true? No, I'm saying whether religion is false or not, morality is It doesn't matter if it changes. It doesn't matter if it changes. What matters is if, how do you know the Quran is true? Well, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about morality. Right yes, now. it is. No, no, yes, because hold on, yeah, you your, made the claim. You made your, the morality, claim. your morality is based on the Quran, right? Yes. So um, how do you know the Quran is true? That's not what the discussion is. How do I know my morality is true? I base it off the Quran. Yes, and how do you know therefore, the Quran is true? Hold on, therefore, a... hold on. Therefore, 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 I have an objective moral code to go by. Versus you, no, you, you don't. Hold on. You pretend. No, no, listen, listen. You pretend it's subjective. I want to know how you know it's subjective. How do you know that? I just told you. I base it off the Quran, meaning that there's a there's an objective. You're, basis. This is circular. This is being so. You're being so fallacious. You're being so circular. You're being. How you're begging you, the question. How do, how do you know the Quran is true? I'm telling. Okay, I'm gonna explain it to you again. Whether religion is whether religion being true or not is irrelevant to the conversation. What? Hold on. Is but if it's not true, then it's subjective. Hold on. It no, is subjective. No, 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 no. Whether 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 it's true or not is irrelevant to the conversation and whether you hold an objective moral code. Holding an objective moral code meaning meaning that you have a basis for your morality. For example, Christians and Jews hold objective moral codes. You have yes, you hold my a position. Is, you hold a position, and like your it doesn't said, matter. It doesn't like, matter. On, the wait, point wait, is like your you, common said, like your common said, when it comes to something, you hold the position that it's wrong to me, to me only. You don't hold. Yes, the, and the Quran is right to you. No, no, right. I, I believe. I believe because yes. of the Quran. I believe. Yes, of the we're Quran, in the same position. That's what I'm saying. Hold on. When someone does listen, a moral listen. act, when someone does a moral act against the Quran, I say you are wrong, whether you believe in it or not. Because that's my objective stance. Yeah, I do this and I do the same thing. No, you don't. Do okay, okay, Mike, I'm going to yes, put a scenario out there for you. Listen, put a scenario listen, out there listen. for you guys. Let's go. We're going to put listen. a scenario out there for you. Are you ready How for the scenario? You know? Mike, a baby, listen. a baby is born. How do you a baby know? is born. A baby is born. No, no, no. Stop, stop, stop. A How man, do you know the Quran is true? Hold on, hold on. I'm a, stop. I'm a, I'm a, How do you know the Quran is Mike, true? Mike, Mike, I'm going to put... If you don't answer the question, I'm gone. If you don't answer the question, I'm I'm leaving. How do I know the Quran is true? We're not going to play these Okay, we're going to talk about how do you know the Quran is true. If I present yeah. to you, if I present to you, if I present to you a, a, how do I say it? A system in which we can concur whoever wrote the Quran had, uh, had to be all-knowing. Would you accept it? No, I just gave you a verse that, that literally was a wrong, literally was false in the Quran. 1666. I can give you many more verses. Hold on, hold on. Do you want me to give you all, all I'm, the I'm false you, information you, in the Quran? Hold on. So no matter do you want me to give you all the false stuff in the Quran? Hold on, hold on. I can do it for you. Hold on, so, hold on. No matter what evidence. <laughs> Twenty one thirty one says the mountains are firm; they can't move. That's false. That's not what it says. Mountains That's can not what move. It says. That's not what it yeah, says. Yeah, it does. It says no. the mountains are firm in the Quran. It says that. It, do, it says. Um, hold on. It says. It says firm. The, I know what you're talking about. The stars, one, right? I know. I know. And it said the the grounds would shake. Chapter eighty one two. It says stars can fall from the sky. That is false. The stars can't fall from the sky. Um, twenty four forty three says Alam. Well, I want, That's not I, want, right. I want everyone, I want everyone, I want everyone, I want everyone here to notice a straw man he did of the Quran because I made a video about this video when he first released it. It says if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala willed it, willed it, he could drop the stars from the sky. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala willed it. If you want to critique this No, no, this that verse, doesn't even make any logical sense. Hold on, hold on. make logical sense. If you want to critique this verse, you have to come with the pre-assumption that God exists for the sake of argument. Meaning, if God of the Quran does exist, Whatever he wills can be. If he wills for stars to fall, it can happen. No, it can't happen. It's illogical for it to happen. If no, you're going, you're on, defying logic. Hold on, hold on. So you know on, how big stars hold on, are? Hold on, <laughs> they're hold not on. tiny things. They're they're big stars. Hold on, hold on, hold and, on. And, hold on. I'm gonna ask you something. Are you coming with the free assumption for the sake of argument? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does exist. No. No, then you can't argue against this because it says if God willed it. 
I, and I can say the same thing. I can say if Spaghetti Monster willed it, anything's possible. But you haven't shown that. Hold on, but I'm not arguing. arguing it's not a metaphor. It's, it's literal. I'm not people, arguing. The people against who against the, hold on, I'm not listen, arguing. Listen, yeah, hi, when, listen. I'm not the, arguing the, against your listen. Spaghetti Monster. Okay, the I'm people not who wrote the Quran the spaghetti monster. That's another didn't know about here. space. They didn't That's know about stars. They want, hold on, I want, I want you to apologize. Okay. Um, it, uh, 2314 says flesh comes after bones. That's just ridiculous. Read, it doesn't. Wait, it bones says flesh comes, it flesh. says thumb. Hold, uh, hold on. See, this is why I, I can't 71 argue with you. says the earth was again, made for again, you. I know, I know. The earth is a carpet. <laughs> it says the earth is a carpet. Um, Look so at, yeah, none of that is true and it's all false. Uh, you so know, Mike, the Quran Mike, can't Mike, 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 if you want, if you want, we can sit here for another hour or two and I can go through with you on these verses by verse. Right. But, but if you want to be honest, send me, send me a screenshot of this and I'm going to make a video. I'm not going to tag you in the video because I already said after you said it's okay to masturbate. We don't have babies. to make videos, dude. Like, it's, no, it's after, just, after you said you, it's okay to masturbate see... over babies, I'm not going to make videos Listen, about you, but I will make videos addressing this. And if you want to talk about it, you can talk about it. Or you can sit here with me. We can go over it one by one. You can look at the Arabic, and I'll show you that even though you come, I don't speak Arabic. We can look at it. I'll okay, well, the, the, this, is, so, this is the point. Um, you get your morality from the Quran, and the Quran it has not been shown to be true. It's actually been shown to be false. So no, it hasn't been shown to your morality be true. is based on false stuff. Your, your morality like is said, not on, objective. Like, like, like I said, said if you want to talk about that is Mike, true. Mike, if you want to talk about morality, if you want to talk about morality, it's also your. Hold on, hold on. If you want to talk about morality, Again, I'm going to restate this. Because you don't believe in God, because you don't believe in God, and you don't believe in objectivity, and you don't believe in objectivity, and you hold a moral nihilist point of view, right? Immoral nihilism. You're a nihilist. You're an error theorist. You're an exposist. Because you hold this point of view, you cannot make any moral claims against the Prophet Alayhi. Yes, I no, you can't. I, I can't. Can. Do you, okay. I can say hold it's on, wrong to on, murder. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I can say it's wrong hold on, to hold murder. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you know? Be, no, because it's fallacious. Do you know? Bro, this is what... Do you know what a historian and a presentism fallacy is? Okay. Do you know yes. what a historian you, fallacy and a presentism fallacy is? Why do you think... The, do you know? Why do you think murder, Mike, I'm get, define, it, define it for me. I'm not answering your dumb question. It's a waste no, of time. No, because you don't know what they are. Historian fallacy is when it a moral matter. nihilist... It doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. Hold on. Oh, my God. Historian fallacy is when a moral nihilist makes moral claims... Against a society that isn't at I'm not time, a moral nihilist. And isn't a, I am not a moral nihilist. Yes, you are. You keep assuming that. I'm not. I'm not a moral nihilist. You said, okay. you said it's wrong to uh, me. That's only how moral nihilists uh, talk. Unless, even if yes, you're... it's wrong to me. And, it, and it's wrong to you that we should... Uh, you know the Quran says that we should lash people a hundred times with a whip, right? In, In 24 times, yeah, it yeah, says yeah, we should... Do you think we should whip people a hundred times for cheating? Yes. I'm done talking to you. You're disgusting. Bro, Mike. Subhanallah.